Hello and welcome to another car fix video from car fix where I do what I love and I love what I do uh, Today's video I'm gonna be working on a 2011 uh, VW take one with code uh, P2015 now this code is for the intake manifold flaps uh, position sensor uh, Now if you look at the data stream right here uh, We have the actual position of the the flaps and the uh, this uh, the uh, the specification for the uh, for the uh, for the set for the position sensor now the specs is supposed to be zero, but I'm reading 70%. And also the flap adaptation right here says error right there. So there's something going on with it. All right, now uh, the uh, the intake manifold runner flaps, uh, they're controlled by this actuator right here. It's vacuum operated and it has a solenoid. I don't know if you can see it or not. This is a vacuum solenoid, which is right here. And it has a, um, a, a engine vacuum um, uh, supply hose right here coming from the this mechanic. Uh, vacuum pump right there. Uh, now I've already checked the the vacuum coming from the vacuum pump, and it was okay. And also the actuator is working correctly, and the solenoid is working. Uh, now uh, the position sensor for the flaps it's actually uh, behind the oil filter right there. It's in a crappy place, and I don't know how you can you check that. Uh, but anyways, uh, if I move the uh, the the flaps by hand, if I push on it like this. Uh, the the, uh, the 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 voltage or the the percentage of the uh, the flaps uh, position should change, but it's they're not changing. So so I have everything working. Uh, you know the vacuum supply is okay, the solenoid is okay, and the actuator is okay. Uh, the only thing left is uh, that there's a either a separation between the um, the armature right here uh, and the flaps to the uh, to the sensor, or the sensor is messed up. Uh, now, either way, uh, uh, the intake manifold has to be removed uh, to check that. But uh, if I can, if I pull on the, this arm right here, it, it, it pops up. It pops out. I mean, now when it pops out like this, I mean it's separating uh, uh, this arm right here. It's separating uh, from the uh, from the from the rod that controls the flaps inside the intake manifold. So the intake manifold has to be replaced. Now this is not an easy job since this is a GDI engine. Uh, the intake manifold has to be removed. The uh, uh, the fuel injectors uh, are not that easy to remove, so uh, I do not recommend anybody to do this job unless they know what they're doing. So uh, uh, I'm not going to film or I'm not going to make a video about uh, how to remove this uh, intake manifold because it's it's not it's not an easy job. All right, now I got the uh, upper intake manifold or the intake manifold removed from the car, uh, and I have to switch all this stuff to the new one. Now the problem is that these flaps right here, they're not attached to the uh, to the actuator. See, I'm moving the flaps, and the actuator is not moving, so it's disconnected from here between the actuator and the uh, the flaps right there, and the sensor is back here, so. If it, it, you know the flaps are stuck in one position, so it's not going to read correctly. Now, if you look at the new one right here, that's the new one. The flaps are not moving. But if I move the uh, actuator, they move. I go back to the old one. See, they're not attached. They get stuck in one position because this one, this guy right here, is disconnected. Because I can move them by hand, like that, see? And this one's not moving. So, yeah. So that, that's the problem right there. Now I have to switch all the injectors, those are GDI injectors. Uh, the gasket have they have to be replaced. All right, now I got the uh, everything is switched up to the uh, newer intake manifold or the new intake manifold. Uh, the throttle body, the injectors, those injector rings they have to be replaced right there. And uh, this is the old uh, runner actuator right here. As you can see, it's bad. And now I'm ready to install the intake manifold back uh, on the car. 
All right, now I got uh, the upper intake manifold or the entire intake manifold installed. Everything is connected. Um, now I need to recheck the uh, the position of the uh, the flaps uh, runners right there. Uh, now remember the last time uh, it was it was reading 70% and uh, had an error in it. So uh, let's let's take a look on the scanner and see uh, what what kind of voltage I have, what kind of what kind of percentage I have. All right, as you can see right there, groove 142. That's the intake manifold runners. Uh, I got 21%. It used to be 71%. Uh, now 0% right there. I have 4.4 volts, and it says uh, uh, has no error, so it, it's okay. So uh, now I'm going to move the the actuator by hand and see if the percentage changes. And it does. As you can see, I'm moving the uh, the actuator arm in and out. And the uh, position sensor changes uh, in percentage, and it wasn't doing that before. So that's a confirmed fix right there. Uh, like I said before, uh, this is not an easy job to do. Uh, I don't recommend it for uh, anybody, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, and all the parts have to come from the dealer. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, any comments, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. And um, also, uh, check out my other videos. And uh, from now until the next car fix video, thanks for watching. I'll see you then.